Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Whoa, and 2, and Polybridge 1. So yeah, Polybridge 3 has just released, and I'm currently waiting for you guys to upload some incredible gallery replays. Easy content for the win. I thought it'd be a good time to look at the evolution of Polybridge games, starting with the very first game of the trilogy, Polybridge 1. This released all the way back in 2016. I was just a young whippersnapper engineer, didn't even have a beard. And I remember coming home from work, like after a day of like designing like roads and, well, I would say bridges. I didn't really design bridges in my job. But then designing more bridges and roads in this game. This is how much I actually used to love engineering. Uh, good times. Good times. <laughs> and by the way, you cannot beat the original title screen, like with the B lifting up to let the boat through. Oh, man, I'm getting nostalgic. Anyway, let's head into the campaign and see what things used to look like. So this, yeah, this was the level select. Now, I believe different colors were sort of how you completed it. So I think blue was the best. That was like unbreaking and under budget. I think green was just under budget. Yellow was you only just completed it. Matt, you were bad at this game. Look <laughs> Why aren't they all blue? Anyway, we'll take a look at the very first level, an eight meter simple bridge. Oh, wow. It actually, it doesn't give you a lot to work with. So presumably we can just do a truss over the top. Oh man, it's been so long since I've played this. Yeah, so you can't hover over the cars to see like how much they weigh or anything. Uh, just like in Polybridge 2, selecting like different stuff doesn't show you how much it costs or weighs or anything. That is Polybridge 3 exclusive. Uh, and then, oh, it's actually, it's actually quite pretty. It looks better than I remember. Fair play. Oh, look how many people have played. <laughs> so I guess that obviously beat my original score, 4,000. But we're 727th in the world. Now, I do wonder if we have a look in the gallery. So I've sorted by budget. So this is the... Wait, zero. Wait, that didn't cost zero. Okay, so this game's gallery is sort of infected by cheats. So yeah, pretty sure all of these, they all cost zero. I have no stress. <laughs> Oh, everyone's such cheaters. Now, if we want to sort by budget in this game, we can't actually go to the last page. We literally just have to click the bottom right arrow and let them all load. So I'm just going to let each page load and then click the right arrow. And then hopefully we'll get to the most expensive bridges at some point. Now, I've literally been going through these for ages now and we're... <laughs> We're still like the cheapest ones by far. So unfortunately, Polybridge 1, not very gallery friendly. But if we now compare that to Polybridge 2, the classic. I say the classic, Polybridge 1 is probably the classic. But this was the one that sort of made my channel what it is today. I guess very responsible for me actually having the best job in the world. Now let's head into the world. So you can see the intro screen doesn't, doesn't just show like the Polybridge 2 logo. It's like loads of different designs and stuff. Still got the Polybridge 3 propaganda done. On the bottom but in this one levels are just in simple order no little map oh and they made it harder they made it a 10 meter simple bridge not an 8 meter simple bridge um and it saved my design from before so what is that doesn't do anything does it oh oh yeah i remember i was I did a video where I cheesed like the entire first world. Yeah, I literally, I forgot about that one. Oops, my bad. I'm a cheater in this game. And yeah, this one, the gallery is like after each level. The other one I had to go to its own thing. What is going on with the water in this one? What is that? Oh, and I assume that is another cheesy solution. Ready? Boosh! <laughs> Uh, that is the cheapest solution, 310 quid. So it seems like people will always find a way to cheat in these games. I mean, this isn't pure cheating because it still costs money, unlike the first game. But yeah, this one, they've changed the control, so it's easy to move the camera while you're building, uh, which you could do in the first game. But this one, they added the, the middle mouse to make it a bit easier. You can see as you hover over a vehicle, it tells you all the stats of that vehicle. Pretty useful. Uh, building, pretty similar as before, though. So as Polybridge Run, it's got cut and paste, and then it looks... I mean, it, def it definitely looks better. The uh, first game looked a lot better than I remembered, though. So fair play. Right, so as last time, we'll look at the most expensive solutions as well and see... <laughs> See what people have come up with. I feel like, yeah, all of these ones are unlimited. That's to do with mods. So we won't look at unlimited ones. We'll look at all the others that... Oh my... What the... F what even... Oh my goodness. Are all of these going to be like that? Like it looks like a dangly road. Oh no, it is just dangly road. Fair enough. So this one, just under 10 billion. That's so much hydraulics. <laughs> I love how the videos like start out normal. Then compression is just like, nah, too much going on. Now we also have solutions where people weren't necessarily... <laughs> I was going to say you weren't necessarily going for the most expensive. This one's three and a half million. <laughs> what is that? What? What is... Why is everyone just dropping stuff everywhere? People have far too much time on their hands. <laughs> 
By the way, here's one you might remember from Arglin. The uh, the going round the entire map the, the wrong direction. So I think you started there and went all the way around, all the way under. I did I did a special video on that one. Now, what is that? What was that? A, no, I sort of thought that was like a person or like a minion or something. It's just it's just a compressed mess. Ooh, what do we have it? What do we have here? Oh, it collapsed. It collapsed. I thought it was like a Ferris wheel. Right, what is, what is this? I have not looked at this gallery in ages. Where's the car going? It's like going all the way up there. Ooh, it just keeps going up and up and up. So you can see it's right up the top of the map now. And then an arm is lowering it all the way down to the flag. <laughs> Oh, man. People are insane. Oh, wait. It's still, go it's still going. Oh, and then it drives across the bridge. Wow. There's people going mental with cable stayed bridges, with trusses, if you can call that a truss, with hydraulics, whatever that's meant to be. We got that. What is that? <laughs> of course, this game introduced springs. So we've got all sorts of weird designs using those. Oh, and then we've got this one, which I remember. That's from Reed Captain. That was his loaf of bread, trying to be the most prettiest design ever or something. It wasn't as good as mine. I won. But yeah, essentially, this game pushed replays to the limits and not necessarily in a good way. All right, so then we have Polybridge 3. I mean, just look at the, look at that. It's so beautiful. So the first level on Polybridge 3 actually has a two-span bridge, but I'm pretty sure they give you that one built in. It didn't look like that. I just, I just tried to go cheap with mine. Uh, but pretty much same setup. You just build your road. You select wood down here. Icons have changed dramatically, but you still got copy and paste. So you can make a bridge like that. And then graphics, I mean, pretty insane. It just looks like really real, I guess. Like not realistic real, but just quite real, if you know what I mean. And then we got the replay screen here. So you can see your replay. We got the gallery that we can have a look at. Now in this gallery, you can actually, it's sort of a merge of Polybridge 1 and Polybridge 2 because you can change any level to look at other solutions. And then of course, the leaderboards on this, you've not only got the lowest budget with unbreaking, you've also got the lowest stress as well as just the lowest budget without unbreaking as well. Unfortunately, it seems like dangly roads are still a thing in Polybridge 3. And if you look at the top price, 100 quid, people will always always find a way to cheese these games. But yeah, back to the building screen. You can again hover over these. You can see all the details for your vehicles. And what's different about this poly bridge than the last one is as you hover over stuff, you can see like how much individual pieces cost and weigh. Uh, and the weight is something I really want to look at actually. So we're in poly bridge three currently. So let's just take a bit of wood and we'll go max length. You can see under there is 360 quid, two meters long. And if we hover over this, you can see how much it weighs. 0.1 one polygrams. I've just gone in sandbox just so we can do a very direct comparison. In this game, does steel weigh more? Yes, it does. Okay, so steel weighs twice as much, 0.2 compared to 0.1. Is that per length? That's 0.05. That's 0.1. Yeah, okay. So one more test then. If we were to do two bits of wood like that, we know, I think, yeah, it weighs 0.2 polygrams and then the steel weighs 0.4. If we were to get rid of the middle one and just have that as a single piece still weighs 0.4 okay that is actually good to know because if we head back to polybridge 2 go into the sandbox as well and we do the same sort of test but in this one when we hover over we don't get the weight of these we're gonna have to try and work it out ourselves now thankfully there is a sort of fairly easy way we can do this in that we can just get a rope like that and then we can have a look at the stress down the bottom so 30 percent is just that so if we go back to building and we shove a bit of wood underneath. We can then compare. So that goes up to 48% stress, that is. So clearly wood weighs more than no wood, which makes sense. If we then swap that with steel, where does the weight settle? 48%. Now that means wood and steel weigh the same in this game. And as someone who's played this game a long time, I can confirm that is literally how it works. Because essentially only the node at the end, like this little yellow circle, that's the only thing that has weight. So we can prove that by if we did a very, very small piece, look, it's still 48% stressed. And then if I do two pieces underneath like that. It's so stressed that it breaks. So if we swap that with cable, which is slightly stronger, just so we can do the test of the numbers. So remember, we're not comparing this to the previous numbers, but that's 34% stress now. With one piece, it's only 26% stressed. But if we do two very small pieces, it's 34% stressed, which is exactly the same as the two long pieces. So they've completely reworked in Polybridge 3 how the materials work. Material now has weight and the length now now accounts for this. Now it's quite strange in this game because not all materials work like that. If we go back to our shortest length, so 
we've got the wood in there. That's 26%. We know that if we put steel in, still 26%. However, if you put any sort of road in, check this out. Yeah, so heavy it broke. Because road in this game does have a weight per length as well as weight per node. And you can see even the small bit, that extra weight per length is making the bridge collapse completely. Not that I can really call this a bridge. But yeah, the question is, how does that compare to Poly Bridge 1? The OG. Well, again, if we do the rope solution, or maybe let's just, we'll just start with cable. And then we dangle a bit of rope from it. We're 18.4% stressed. So if we now swap that with steel, did the game work the same way as Poly Bridge 2? 18.4% stressed. So, so far, it looks like materials don't have a weight. Did road change the weight? Yes. So road weighs more than both of those. And presumably, if I make this shorter, we'll go half the length. Yeah, that is less stress. So that's good to know. Polybridge 1, Polybridge 2, the only material that has weight per length is the road. My question though, if we put two in, is this more than the 18.4% of using just one piece? Oh, what's going on? The stress just, the stress isn't stopping. <laughs> Why is it going up and up? Okay, interesting. The stress just keeps increasing. Is it ever going to stop? I'm not sure it is. But one thing that I know has changed from Polybridge 1 to Polybridge 2, which was sort of the biggest deal at the time, is basically in Polybridge 1, these physics, they were calculated individually every single run, which sort of resulted in inconsistent physics. So you could have a bridge, and if you tested it 100 times, sometimes it would fail, sometimes it wouldn't. Whereas in Polybridge 2, they completely reworked the physics so that if you had a bridge, every time you test it, you'd get the exact identical result. Uh, so I'm not sure if what we're seeing now, this increasing, is just one of those weird discrepancies. I'm not sure. The other thing that changed from Polybridge 1 to Polybridge 2, if we were to build like a simple truss bridge, you can see at the bottom, there's only normal type of road. So there wasn't actually reinforced road, which is fine until you get a bridge like this, where the road is the weakest part and it fails, because then you have no road to reinforce it. But in this game, what you could do, you could replace road with wood like that, or even with steel. And basically that wood and steel, it's on the side of the road. So if we now play this, can you see the wood and the side? It's reinforced the road, making the bridge stronger, allowing you to get across. If we head back into Poly Bridge 2, you'll see we've got normal bridge there. And then if we try and reinforce the road like before, that you can see where we've tried to put wood on the sides, it's literally replaced the roads. You could no longer stack material on this, but that's where this came in, the reinforced force road. Now this was stronger but it was more expensive and it weighed more but it was a way to make your roads a little bit stronger in this game. So back in Polybridge 3 if we do this you'll see actually there's there's no reinforced road. So how do we make our roads? Oh my god look at the level by the way. Look how cool it is. <laughs> So many signs. But yeah, so what happens in this one? Do we... No, that's replace it. So is there is there no reinforced road on this? I think there's no reinforced road. There is wood, steel, hydraulics, rope, and cable. And then, of course, the lovable springs at Polybridge 2 introduced. Uh, they're, they're not the most useful in most situations, but in some, very, very useful. But there is a new material Polybridge 3 introduced, and that is this, the foundation. So basically, with this, on any level, as long as you don't mind spending the budget, you can add a static joint, essentially. So if we add two like that, our spring bridge now works. So yeah, essentially these foundations in the middle, they're now pieces of bridge we can build with. You can see though, they cost 15 grand plus 900 quid per meter. So essentially, you can see as we go up, the, the price is increasing. So very pricey, but very useful in bridge building. So finally, we'll just have a little look at the graphics. Now on Polybridge 1, you can only spin like so far. You can't actually go around the backs of these levels. And the various different themes were Alpine Meadows, Desert Winds, Ancient Ruins, 80s Funland. It's fun. There was a snow theme with a big crowd of penguins looking over us. <laughs> as well as Zen Gardens and Tropical Paradise. Now, Polybridge 2 also had Pine Mountain theme, but look, you can go all the way around the back. It's actually quite nice looking. It also had the Glowing Gorge, which was set at nighttime with some volcanoes and stuff in the background. The Tranquil Oasis, sort of sunset-y. We got a desert-themed one, whatever Serenity Valley's theme is meant to be. And then Steamtown, which I never saw 
much of because these were like the hardcore levels. And then the two recent ones in the update, which I think, to be honest, are just free skins looking at this. And then finally, we've got Polybridge 3 and the graphics are just on another level. Like the amount of detail in the background, you can spin all the way around. Like There's so many little details and like, look at it. So we've got this Wild West looking one called Badlands. We've got oh, a very cool ice one. Like look over here. There's someone that's crashed their plane and there's like penguins looking at it. There's all a Mediterranean theme, apparently. That's what this is. We have the pyramids and a sphinx down there. Oh, man, look at that. Too. Is that like a sheep's face? <laughs> what is that? I think that's a sheep's face. Uh, there's also a fairly sort of standard rocky theme. You can see there's like a dinosaur skull down there. An X marks a spot over that way. Well, actually, another one up here with uh, with actual treasure next to it. Uh, sandbox has its own theme, which is like a little blueprint sort of layout. There's then a skyscraper theme, which if we zoom out, look how tall and cool this is. <laughs> oh man, there's so much detail. I love I actually love how this game looks. There's a toxic waste theme with its own toxic jacuzzi, as well as tropics, which, oh man, look at the volcanoes. Everything in this game just looks so cool. As well as the bridgey sign one we saw earlier, a Viking themed one, what? Complete with a fishing net. And finally, like a Great Wall of China inspired one. But yeah, really don't know what my favorite is. Love them all. But that was a little look at the evolution of Polybridge to Polybridge 3. Hope you guys enjoyed. Boost your like button and I'll see you guys soon. Get making those replays for me. Peace, love and bridges. Bye, guys.